I'm John Bach, from Newsmax TV here in Boca Raton for the third and final presidential debate. I'm standing here with former New York Mayor Governor Gibbons. John, I'm very pleased. I think Governor Romney looked very presidential. Uh, President Obama actually looked like a candidate who was behind attacking Governor Romney, and I think Governor Romney very effectively said attacking him doesn't constitute an effective policy. And I think one of the most telling things tonight is President Obama basically united himself with his words uh, as opposed to his actions. He talked about his close relationship with Israel. We've never seen greater distance in the last 50 years between the U.S. and Israel. We talked about his protections in Iran. In fact, Congress dragged him to the United States. And he talked about the success of the leadership of Syria, when in fact he's been absent in Syria. And the New York Times took all the papers and a front page article that the bad Islamic radicals are the ones getting armed by Saudi Arabia and Qatar in Syria because of the power absence. So I think uh, the governor did a very good job being his chairman for how he would lead this country. And President Obama never did that. And we're here in South Florida. Obviously, the Jewish vote very important here right. in South Florida. Right. Uh, President Obama was the first, second, and third person to mention Israel. Right. Bob Schieffer was the fourth. Did right. did Governor Romney may miss bringing up Israel sooner in this debate? Should he done that sooner? You know, I think the 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 both uh, the government and the people of Israel and Jewish voters in the United States and others like me who care about Israel understand that the fact that the president mentioned it so often simply indicated he has a problem. And words one night don't make up for failed policy for four years. And I think uh, voters who care about Israel understand that. So I don't think it was a mistake at all. I think it was a sign of strength that Governor Romney understands that those voters like me who care about our relationship with Israel understand his strong support for Israel and they also understand that this president for four years as, as he himself said wanted to put some space between the United States and Israel. I fear he has done it to the detriment not just of their security but of our security as well. There were several occasions during the debate tonight where Governor Romney agreed with President Obama on certain right. issues, one of those being drones. Right. Did you think that Governor Romney did a good enough job as presenting a contract to his what his foreign policy would be compared to President Obama. I do. I think it was absolutely appropriate that Governor Romney agreed with President Obama on drones because that has been one of the rare successes over the course of the last four years. But Governor Romney also pointed out the failure of the of the Obama policy, particularly in North Africa and Mali, uh, in Libya itself, in Egypt, in Syria, uh, where Al Qaeda is in fact resurgent, and it's tragic, and that should have never happened. But for the theory of this president, as he said oftentimes he's going to lead from behind. Well, that's not leadership. And another thing I think that Governor Romney did very effectively was to draw the link between a strong economy in the United States and the strong strength of our ability overseas. And pointing out uh, the fact that uh, national security experts have said that one of the greatest threats to our national security is the debt. As we all know, this president has run up more debt than any president in history. So I think Governor, ba Governor Romney was very effective with that, as in so many other parts of the debate. We knew both candidates were going to try to do that sooner than later. Yeah. Uh, thanks for being with us, Governor George Pataki. Thank you. Good being with you again. Pleasure.